Thank you. Are you going to a party? <laughs> this is just what you do every day? <laughs> Yay! That made my day. That was like the third thing that made my day today. <laughs> is there anybody behind us now? Rainbow flag. I'm digging Reno, I'm telling you. These are all for sale. But yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Christy had heard about some art project downtown and we were just driving around and happened to stumble upon it. It's called the Midtown Public Art Project. And the city of Reno partnered with the Regional Transportation Commission in the county and other community partners to develop this public art project to reflect the vibrancy of the community of one of Reno's um, fastest growing cultural districts. Oh wow, I didn't read these. Self love is, sober is, darkness is. It's really cool, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Self-love is... They did this in conjunction with a street reorienta reorientation project. They're planning on an, uh, some growth and changes here in this district. And this is pretty cool. I love stuff like this. Yeah. like vegan gluten-free healthy food mecca here in this little yes. um, neighborhood of uh, Reno we just had lunch at Laughing Planet and uh, but we found this place first there's another restaurant here that has some really good vegan sounding stuff great gardens great yeah grateful gardens and this bakery that's got kombucha on tap cupcakes vegan paleo gluten-free so yeah we're gonna we're gonna end our little uh, birthday celebration with a bang Oh, and it smells so good in here. Oh yeah, we're gonna split. We got cupcakes and cookies. <laughs> so uh, we need to find coffee now. Bon appetit. It's not vegan. Yeah, I know. The vegan police. The vegans are. Yeah. Is it just like experimental? Oh my god, that's so good.
Okay, so this is Washoe Community Park. I think it's, or is it a state park? I'm not sure. Might be a state park in Nevada, just outside of Reno and Carson City, right between Reno and Carson City. And this is where I've spent the last two nights. It is a balmy 17 degrees right now. <laughs> yeah, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. And I've spent two nights here because I dropped my friend Christy off at the Reno airport uh, yesterday. And the, the nights have gotten down to like 11 degrees. And so I can't boondock in 11 degrees because I need to run my tank heaters, which really drain battery power. And so I've been needing to plug in, not to mention when it gets down to 11 degrees, I want to run the heat a lot and I don't have enough battery uh, power to run the heat all night long. The night Chrissy was with me, I just set it at like 45 because um, I was really low on propane. So I was really worried that we would run out in the middle of the night and uh, it got a little cold, but with, with the sleeping bags and the blankets and everything, we were fine. She said she got a little bit cold, but uh, she was okay. She put on some extra layers and she was fine in her little bed. And uh, last night I set it at 50 and it ran pretty much all night long, but I'm toasty in there. So I'm just filling up water. The water is still running, which kind of surprising me a little bit. And I'm gonna hit the road. I didn't want to head south this soon. Uh, it's Halloween uh, and I've spent Thanksgiving like near the Mammoth Lakes area, but it's just gonna be in the 20s for the foreseeable future. So I need to head down south. I don't want to. Um, I'm not really in a hurry to get to the desert. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you Washoe State Park. It's a really pretty park. This is a, it was 30 bucks with hookups to camp here. It's only 20 bucks without hookups. Uh, beautiful view and I love the winter sage. It's beautiful and when the sun is rising, the colors on it, it's really pretty. So, um, yeah, but I have six hour drive down to like the Las Vegas, well, seven hour drive down to Las Vegas. I'll probably cut it into two, which means I'm gonna have one more night probably in the 20s, which means I might do another RV park tonight. We'll see. But, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the high yesterday was like 45 degrees and that's been the last couple of days. So it's been unseasonably cold. I talked to some locals yesterday. I'm running out of battery or I would tell you more. I had to go um, get my battery checked because I'm having tr trouble getting my rig started in the morning. You know what? I think I'm going to save that for the next video. It's kind of a long story and there's some good lessons in there about uh, things I learned and things that I think will help you too. So I think I'll do that video on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. I need to get my water filled up and hit the road and have another cup of coffee and get some work done. We didn't put this back up after Christy left because I'm kind of thinking I like it. I don't know. I'm thinking this winter I might tear it out and remodel it. I just have to see if I can find somebody to custom build it. Well, apparently the hose is frozen. There must be, there must have been water inside because I'm not getting any water coming out the other side. So we'll leave it sitting in the sun for a few minutes. Maybe we can get it going. Crap. Or maybe I'll bring it inside and set it next to the heat. Crap, I need water. You know what I'll do? I'll pour hot water down it. Ha, 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 ha. Bathrooms over there, flush toilets and showers. It's nice. You get your own little picnic shelter. <clears throat> Thought I'd take you on a little tour before I head out this morning, show you the bathrooms and the showers in case you're ever coming through this area. Yep, this confirms it. It's been freaking cold. <laughs> Very nice. Nice private bathrooms. This is nice. I like it here. This means my summer's over. Hope you've enjoyed Reno. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with my friend Christy and uh, the Washoe State Park, which is really pretty right on Washoe Lake. And uh, if you're in the area, this is a really nice place to stay. It's quiet. Uh, this is the second time I've been here. I don't know if you remember, I did a little video like a memory video or something and showed you I was gonna shoot my infamous two million view blanket video, how to stay warm in an RV here. I, I shot the first intro here um, and then ended up reshooting it with my friend Bob, but. It is a lovely day today in Carson City, Nevada. Uh, I ran into a little bit of weather. I'm heading to Oregon and um, I was coming from 
south of Mammoth and I knew it was gonna snow there so I headed north it was only supposed to rain here and it's about 40 degrees and we're getting a little bit of snow so I'm gonna show you the views of where I am I am at Washoe Lake State Park I spent last night in the Walmart parking lot in Gardnerville Nevada um, but I wanted to have some space to stretch out of course Capone needs to get out so I decided to come out to the state park in Carson City Nevada so I don't know if you can see over there it's snowing it's coming down pretty low and there are a few flurries here in the air so I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you um, about what I do inside my rig to try to insulate the best that I can and stay warm so this is what I'm faced with right now. This is probably the coldest I've been maybe since I've been living out here. So we'll go inside and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I do to try to insulate my rig and uh, stay warm as possible. All right. Be right Welcome back. back to Carolyn's RV life. It's snowing. I'm in Carson City, Nevada, heading up to Oregon. I thought I was driving out of the snow and I am smack in the middle of a snowstorm and it's snowing pretty hard my first snowstorm in my RV pretty exciting I thought I would take this opportunity to show you what I do to stay warm inside my rig I have a couple things that I do to insulate the very very drafty windows so I thought I would take you inside show you some tricks on how you can insulate your RV to protect you from the cold it's about 40 degrees right now it's pretty cold so we'll go inside and I'll show you how, uh, how I stay warm in my rig. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. I'll see you where I end up. <laughs> in the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah. Let's go inside where it's warm.